In September 1970, Trevor Francis made his debut for Birmingham City at just 16 years of age. Despite being so young, Francis soon established himself as a first team star after scoring 15 goals in his first 16 league games for Blues. Memorable years at St Andrews, where he scored 133 times in 329 appearances, before moving to Nottingham Forest as Britain's first £1 million player. And it wasn't long before he fired his way into Forest folklore when, just a few months after signing, he headed in the winning goal to clinch the European Cup. With his playing days behind him, Francis returned to Blues as manager in the summer of 1996. Um, the relationship that I had with the supporters was uh, quite unique. We shared some magical moments, and there are moments that I don't think you can ever turn the clock back. But um, as a manager now, uh, my one aim is to get the club back in the Premiership, and I'll be doing everything I can possibly do to try and achieve that. Unfortunately for Trevor, the playoffs proved to be his nemesis, with Blues suffering three heartbreaking defeats during his five-year tenure. The disappointment falls on Holland, and it's Watford who are going to win the to play Bolton in the first division playoff final. You feel for Chris Holland, you really do, the youngster. In his final season in charge, he steered Blues to the Worthington Cup final. Is it? And that's it! Stop it! Where they ran Premier League giants Liverpool close. And to lose in a penalty shootout. The name Trevor Francis will always be held dear in the hearts of Blues supporters and I'm sure both the club and fans alike are excited to celebrate a true legend at St Andrews on Saturday. <laughs>